And we are back with some more Gundam Online. You see the blow 80 with me, Polar Dash. And Mr. Polar and his uh, rental Ifrit on Shangri La server. Yeah, and that's what we did last time. We let uh, Mr. Polar uh, dash around in his uh, rental Ifrit to hit that big tray for lots of points and damage. That was fun. Let's see if we can do it again. Um, yeah, the only uh, only problem with that Ifrit is that uh, it can only do that on them uh, uh, them uh, no, mobile bases, even though they're not really mobile, but you know them um, mobile command centers. It's hard to do the uh, it's hard to hit the, them bases that are in the buildings that are floating on top with the searchlights, spotlights, because you need to like jump up and then do your melee by but by that time you get up there. You tend to get shot down. Especially this rental version that's weighed down with all sorts of junk. Lowering its balance, making it easier to knock over. Um. But for those maps, yeah, where there's a base B, I guess we can try doing it again. Uh, the Ifrit is, uh. The Ifrit is a thing to ride. I'm not really gonna make any changes to my deck. It worked out fairly okay last time. I just gotta make it to base. And after my intervals, after my three intervals, I am, um, um, I have to try to prevent a demotion since I did so horrible in the in the uh, in the uh, in the last 120 minutes I I was playing for my uh, point quota. I didn't make it. Because I was dipping around too much. Um, but yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta get 25 kills to not get demoted, which I doubt I'll do. But I'm thinking, while I have this Efreed, I might just uh, do these base runs to uh, get in the top 10 five times out of seven. That'll also prevent a demotion. And uh, I'm kind of regretting that I didn't. You can skip the uh, the intervals. Kind of regretting that I didn't skip it. Now that I'm playing the uh, Odessa base again, I might be able to make it to top ten like I did last time, just by running up the base and hitting it. Oh well. We're just gonna uh, we're just gonna go. I might skip it next time, but then I'll skip it next time and I'll, and I'll get some like stupid map and I'll like come in like 40th place. <laughs> Not punch the screen. <laughs> no. Uh... Right, I got this other Efree too. I I've been playing around with it. The uh, the Efree with the uh... this thing comes with a uh, a net gun, which can be fun at times. When you catch the the pixies flying around and you net them and they can't move and everyone shoots them and they die, it's fun to do. But I haven't been doing too well on the uh, Schneid. That's that's that super the net gun. Cause like them net guns and stuff. In my opinion, like if you're gonna, if you hit with the net gun, that would have mean that would have mean that like, or that would have meant that if you were to have shot with some other kind of bazooka, like you would have hit it with damage. So like, instead of netting the guy first and then bazooking him, it just you can skip that netting step and just hit him with the bazooka. Though, uh, the, the melee weapon that the Schneid is equipped with... Oops. ...is what the, uh, the net gun is for, technically. Whoops. Because that, uh, his melee weapon deals a lot more damage than the average melee weapon. Like, you can net a guy, and then, while he's caught in your net, you can go in for the melee. But I don't know, just the fact that it's a heavy 
No, there's not as a heavy class. And it's lacking like a second range weapon that deals damage. I haven't been able to like do well on it. Okay, I can't go up this way. Ah, oh, sad face! So like I just um well, I just I'm not sure if you guys just saw that, but I just uh dashed through a mine. <laughs> Because I was in that, uh, I had invulnerability frames. In my dash attack, I wasn't dealt damage. That's, that's silly. I got 67 points this time. There were too many campers out here. Uh, yeah, fuck why, why is, why is scared? I'm gonna go defend base here. Some shenanigans, I think, guys. Right, so that kind of proved it. I, I got it on, on footage, or... On recording, that, uh... These dash attacks allowed you to get invincibility frames to... To stop bazookas from hitting it and stuff. It's lame. Oh, why? It's still standing. That's amazing. I don't know what else to do here. Oh, we're gonna defend the beacon. Wait, so apparently sitting around here now uh, gets you points or something? I don't know. They made changes to the way you get points. They they're starting to like cut cut out the commander from this game. They're finally admitting that the commander player is pointless. Like you used to get additional points by uh, having the commander, like doing what the commander tells you to do. But people have been complaining that because of the commander, they're not getting as much points as other people because sometimes the commander just can't command everybody at the same time. That they forget about some players. And so the dev team decided to, like, that you get points by doing anything that's productive, regardless of what the commander, if the commander has you ordered to hit it or not. You're dumb. Where's that? that? Armor doesn't hit base. Just like a different round. Is there anything? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Beat us. And because there's Minoski, I don't know where to go. Uh, we're still defending the beacon? Alright, so, uh, according to the last update, if you stand close to the beacon, or I couldn't even test it because the match ended, but if you stay close to the beacon, uh, when it deploys the carrier, you get points. I was just wondering how much points you get. You know, to award you that you've been sitting around, you, you sat around doing nothing. Or you sacrificed, uh, uh, wasting... The, the the possibility of wasting time or whatever. Were you sacrificed? What? You sacrificed play time to sit around in front of the the beacon, right, to defend it. Uh, the game apparently is gonna now reward you for doing that. Yeah, I got stuff. Okay. Uh, should I cash it in? Next week, uh, they're doing an event where if you... You don't need to get 7, you only need to get 5 
for daily challenges completed to get like 50k and a DX ticket. I wonder if I could if I should hold on to this. No, you know what? It's, it's Saturday, so I have time to collect seven. If I say that now, I don't have all kinds of shit to do. Alright, so what E3 once again was doing its thing for me. Cool. Good job, whoever you were. Alright, um... Uh, next time, more base hitting, maybe? I don't know. Find out. Bye.